I use Shelly relay devices a lot around my house for home automation. In fact, I've got 11 of them installed. So I use them for lighting, for electric radiators, for even energy monitoring, and for my garage door. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Shelly relay, how to wire it into an existing lighting solution so you too can start using them as part of your home automation solution. Uh, as I've got a spare Shelly as well, left over, I ordered too many by mistake. So what I'm gonna do in this video is gonna be giving one of these away to somebody at the end of the video. So if you're interested in that, then stick around and watch and I'll catch you later, thanks. So what I'll do now is take you through a wiring diagram on a PowerPoint slide, just so you can see what we're looking to achieve. And then I'll take you through um, actually doing this with real wires and cables and connections and things so you can see how, how you'd actually do this. So I guess before I start, one of the main reasons that I'm using the Shelly is I'm using them in rooms where I don't have smart lights in place. So there's an existing um, pendant or uh, existing spotlight, something that I don't want to change or can't change. And the same with the light switches. I do have some smart light switches in some rooms and I do have some smart lights in some rooms, but uh, in the kitchen, for example, I've got nice chrome light switches and I've got spotlights in the ceiling. So the only way or the only option that I've got to make these lights smart and automated and put me in a position where I can connect them into Home Assistant is by integrating a Shelly. So that's kind of where I see these fitting. So I make an assumption here, you've got a room, you've got a light switch, you've got a pendant light or some sort of single light or group of lights that you want to automate. So in most houses in the UK, they're wired in something called three plate, which means that you've essentially got um, live neutral and earth coming into the light in the room. So brown is live, neutral is brown, and then earth will be green and yellow, and that'll be going into the pendant. And then you'll also have wires coming from your light switch going into your light. So there'll be a permanent live going down to your light switch and then a switched live going back up that turns the light on and off. So the, for the purposes of this drawing, I've done the switch live in a, pur a purple color, but in reality, in today's wiring, that would be brown, um, a brown live wire. Neutral would be blue and I say green is earth. So to integrate the Shelly, um, the Shelly device needs a permanent live and neutral um, to run the device. It then needs a connection to your existing switch. Um, the number one terminal is for another live connection. And then the zero is the switched live that would then go into the, into the light itself. So we can connect these connections up to the existing wiring that's in place. And I'll show you in the next part of the video, you know, in real terms, how, we, how you would go about doing this. So permanent live, permanent neutral off to the existing wiring. Uh, another permanent live going into terminal one on the Shelly. And then that happened quite quickly, so I'll do it again. So the existing switched live from your light switch that's turning your light on and off that needs to be connected into the switch or the sw connection on your shelly relay and then finally you need to have then the switch live from the relay into the light so when somebody switches the light switch on the wall, it passes the signal through to the switch in the Shelly, the switch live in the Shelly, and then that powers up the light 
So you can still operate this switch manually to turn your lights on and off if you want to do that. Or because the Shelly itself has got a relay inside of it, and I'll show you in a minute, but you can connect this up to an application. <coughs> you can then use an app to kind of do that switching through the terminal one and terminal zero on the relay. And then finally, the final part of it, once you've got it up and running, it's all connected up and your switch is working properly, you can then go into the Shelly app on your phone. You'll need to obviously install that. Um, once you've got the app up and running, you can then set up and configure your Shelly relay. I've got mine set up on my IoT network, uh, on my wifi, Unify Wi-Fi network, um, but obviously you can do whatever you need to do. So that's it. So what I'll do now is take you through actually how you would physically wire one of these up. What I'll do now then is take you through the actual wiring of this. I've mocked something up just to emulate what we talked about earlier. So in the bottom corner of the screen, you can see the existing wiring, wiring diagram that we just spoke through. And I've mocked up this three plate configuration. So we've got the live, neutral and earth going to the room to the left. And we've got live, neutral and earth going to the room to the right from the picture. We've got the pendant in the middle with the connections. So the blue wires are the neutrals. The middle three brown wires are live. And at the bottom two brown and red wire is the, um, the switched lives. So one going to the switch and one going to the lamp itself. So what we'll do now is we'll talk through how we're going to integrate this Shelly device into this um, three plate setup. Right, so looking at the diagram below, the one that we went through earlier, we, we know that we need to have three wires from the Shelly going into the ceiling rows. We need the switch live, the neutral and a live. So live, neutral and switch live. So the existing two core cable isn't going to be enough for us. So what we're going to do is replace that two core cable that's going into the ceiling rows with the three core cable that's above it. So that will then give us a live, neutral and switch live. So you'll now see that I've replaced the two core cable so that can be discarded. No longer need that and the three core cable is connected up to the live, neutral and switch line. So black is now neutral, brown in the middle has gone into live, and then the third cable is what was the gray cable, which I've taped up red, just so it's clear for anybody else that would be using this, that that is now a live cable. So because we've cut into this two core cable, because we needed to introduce a three core cable and obviously connect up the Shelly device, we need to, a way to connect all these cables back together again so we can pass the live and neutral through to the other room and obviously introduce the, the Shelly. So I'm using these WAGO, WAGO, VARGO connections, however you want to pronounce it. So at this stage, what I've done is I've, um, connected the live neutrals and earth into the um, Wago blocks um, just so we've got those connected up. So we've got the live neutral and earth coming from the pendant going into the Wago. We've got the live going down to the switch going into the Wago blocks and the live and neutral going to the, what would be the next room going to the Wago blocks. So that's all we've done at the moment, just connected the live neutral and earth. So all the browns in one, all the yellow and greens in another, and all the neutrals in another connection. So that would be your black cable from the three core cable and the blue cable going into the next room. They're both now neutrals and connected up. So that kind of completes this step. As we saw from the wiring diagram earlier in the video then, we know that the Shelly needs a permanent live and neutral. So as part of this step, what I've done is I've stripped back some of the Twin and Earth cable 
and taken the brown and the blue cable out of it, out of the spare that we, we kind of extracted to put the three core cable in and connected um, the live using the brown cable into the live Wago connector and the neutral using the blue cable into the neutral connector block. So we now have a live and neutral connection for the Shelly itself. So the next step then is to add the switched live so that on, into the SW terminal on the Shelly itself. So the switch live is the cable that switched from the light switch itself. So that was previously connected into the, um, the seeding rows. So in current wiring, you'll have a brown and a blue wire going down to the switch. So the brown wire is the permanent live and then you would use the blue wire that's in that cable and put some tape around it or some colouring around the cable so that you now know it's become a live wire, not a neutral wire because blue's traditionally associated with neutral. So we've identified that as a live wire. It's the switched wire going coming from the, the light switch up into the Shelly device itself as per the diagram that we spoke about earlier. So we know that terminal one on the relay is also a permanent live as well for the relay to operate the light. So we just simply provide a brown cable from terminal one into the Wago live connection block, connector block, and that will give us a live to the Shelly. Not far to go now then, so we are now going to connect in the, the, the wire that goes to the live of the lamp. So this is the switched wire that goes from the Shelly into the ceiling rows, connected to the brown wire for the lamp itself. So that provides the switched live from the Shelly to the bulb. So you can now um, enable the circuit, turn the electricity back on again, and test to make sure everything's working. So the switch, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, should still switch your light bulb on and off, but now you should have a fully working Shelly device that you can add into the app. Now, with regard to this big bundle of cables that you see in front of you, you, you need to be putting this into some sort of junction box in the ceiling. You can't just leave that dangling around um, because obviously it's not, not going to be safe with the live um, terminals exposed. So Wago do do um, connector block boxes that you could put these cables into. So that might be one idea, but you just need to make sure that whatever uh, connection blocks box that you're using is suitable for the environment that it's in and needs to be sealed up. Um, to make sure that it stays watertight or you know away from dust and other animals that may be nibbling at the cables. Um, yeah, so just make sure that's all bundled up and safe in the ceiling. But as I said earlier, if you're not capable and competent with working with electrics, then this is a really easy job for an electrician to do and they could have it done in, uh, in just a few hours. Um, so hopefully that was useful for you. So now you've got the Shelly up and running. It's on the all available um, for discovery. What we'll do is have a quick look at how to get the Shelly into the app. So um, hopefully you can see my phone. Um, so we'll go into the Shelly app. You can see all the Shellys that I've got. So as I said earlier, I've got various Shellys for controlling lights, um, electric radiators, garage roller door, and my air source heat pump for energy monitoring. So it's it, the, there's loads of different Shelleys that do lots of different things. So if you need any information on that, then give me a shout in the comments and I'll, I'll help try and help. Um, so if we click on the plus button at the bottom, we can add the new Shelly by clicking on the add button and then next. So hopefully it'll go off and discover that new Shelly device. 
which it has done at the bottom here. So we can select that, click next. So I want to add it to my existing IoT network. So I'm going to add the device, and connect to it. It's starting to include it and it's added. So that is adding a device to an existing network. So what I didn't have to do there was put in my username and password for the Wi-Fi because it's already got that in the app. If you're doing this for the first time, you'll have to select your Wi-Fi network, username, password, and get that set up. So you can then go through and name the device. So I'll just put demo for this one for the sake of it. Um, you can select a picture for the room if you want to. And then add to the room, add to a room. So I'll just put it into the kitchen for now. And then save that. And that's done. So I can now, once that's finished setting itself up, I should now be able to go in and control that device. So for some reason, my uh, device wouldn't come online. So what I've done is I've just turned off the Shelly uh, and then turned it back on again, left it for a few minutes and now it's, it's available. So I can now switch on and off the light so hopefully you can see that working on the screen um, what I tend to do in these as well is go in to the Shelly just to make sure that it's up to date the firmware version because the 9 out of 10 times they always need an update and it's best to be on the latest firmware release so I check that as well um, that's it so hopefully that's of use to you and um, thanks for watching So that brings me to the end of the video. Hopefully you found it useful. Um, I've certainly enjoyed making the video. As I said at the beginning, I do have a spare Shelly one that I'm gonna give away. So what I'm gonna do on the 30th of November is I'll have a look through my comment section on this video and uh, I'll randomly pick out one of the comments from somebody and um, I'll get in contact with you and work out how we can send one of these Shelly devices to you. So it's pretty straightforward to set up. And again, the Shelleys can be used for all sorts of different things as part of your home automation solution. If you've got any questions or I've left you with any kind of doubts about this, then please get in touch and I'll, I'll do my best to help you. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.